Hello, welcome viewers and welcome learners to this lesson where we want to learn, okay, yeah, how to divide numbers that are in base uh, 5. For our Zambian syllabus, these are taught in grade 8 as learners prepare themselves for the grade 9 exam. And we continue to provide these online lessons in order to help our learners that have been kept indoors in the view of the COVID-19, okay? We know that at the end of the day, there are exams to be written. So these lessons are very important to keep our learners going as they wait for the government declaration that schools can reopen. And uh, I remind you to keep masking up because we have a deadly pandemic in our midst. All right, so we are back to the lesson. How do we divide binary numbers? That is uh, numbers that are in base two. So I have got three examples. And after this, I'm going to also give you three questions that you can do as uh, an exercise. All right, so let us get started. We start with, we use long division method. That is easier. So we can start with the first one. Okay. Okay, so we have our 10, I mean, it's even wrong to read it as 10 because we have a number that is in base 11010. Okay, so we are dealing with base 10. I mean, we're dealing with base 5. So, 10, okay, 10. Can it go into 1? The answer is no. Can it go into 1-1? One, one? The answer is yes. 1-1 one, one in base 2. Yes. How many times? It's 1. And I have to emphasize one thing. When we are dealing with numbers that are in base 2, if we say, can this number go into the other? And if the answer is yes, how many times? It will always be 1. It will, if it can go into the other number, it will always be 1. Okay? It will always be 1. Take note of that. If it can't go, then it's 0. So we're dealing with just the two digits, 1 and 0. So we multiply 1 by oh, 1, 0. It will be 1, 0 again. At this point, we subtract. What do we get? Okay. This is going to give us 0. 1, 0, can it go into 1? No. Okay, so what are we supposed to do in this case? What are we supposed to do in this case? We're going to bring down this zero here. We'll bring it here. Then we say, one zero, can it go into one zero? The answer is yes. How many times? One. Again, we multiply this by this one. What do we get? We subtract. Okay? When we subtract, what do we get? We're going to get zero, zero. So at this point, can this 1, 0 go into 0, 0? No. So we need to drop down this one here. Okay. So it's coming from the main number there now. Okay. It's as good as getting rid of these ones here. So 1, 0, can it go into 1? The answer is no. And since this one is not a remainder from this one, it's coming from the main number, then we're going to put a 0 here. Okay. We're going to put a 0 here. Even if we multiply this 0 by 1, uh, 0, it will be 0. So we can leave it there. Or if you want, we can say, okay, 0 multiplied by 1, 0, it will be 0. And when you subtract, what do we get? We still get this one, isn't it? And at this point, it cannot go. So we need to drop down this one. Here. 1, 0, can it go into 1, 0? The answer is yes. How many times? So we divide, we multiply this one by this one, we get. All right. So this is what we're going to get. And what is our answer here? The answer is this one. 1101. 1101 in BC 2. That is our answer to the first one. That is our answer to the first one right so 
Let me take you to the second one. Take you to the second one. Okay. So the second one is uh, one, 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 one. Okay. We're dealing with numbers that are in base two. So when you look at how many digits do we have here? Three, so it will go into the first three also this side. So it will be here. How many times you multiply one by one by triple one, you get the same. Like this. Alright? Then we can subtract. When you subtract here, what do you get? You're going to get zeros throughout. Okay? So then at this point, at this point, we're going to come to drop this one down here. All right. So now we say, can triple one go into uh, one? The answer is no. Okay. The answer is no. So it will mean we need to put a zero there. After we have put this zero, we have two ways in which we can do it. Because even if we multiply this zero by this one, it will still be zero. So it's like it's not helping us. All right. We can move on to the next one and drop this one also here. Okay. Triple one can't go into a one one. So what does this mean? Again, it's what? Zero here. Are we there? Again, it's a zero. So then at this point, we drop this one down. We have triple one against triple one. So this can go into this one. How many times? One. Okay. Then you multiply this by this one. It will give us what? Triple one. This will give us what? Zero. So our final answer when we divide these two. Our final answer when we divide these two is going to be one, zero, zero, one in base what? Two. All right. If you want, you could have continued multiplying here. Could have continued multiplying here. Or maybe let's do uh, the point at which we said uh, here we're going to have one. We're going to say, okay, since this can't go into this one, we have a zero. Zero multiplied by this one, you have one. You subtract, you get one. This can't go into this one. What happens? You drop down this one. It comes here. Can this go into this one? No. Again, you put a zero. You multiply, you have zero, zero. What do you get? Okay. This can't go into this one. What do we do? We bring this one down. How many times? One. Then when you multiply, it will be. So our answer will still remain this one in base two. All right. Please pay attention. And don't forget to get in touch with us just in case we have errored. Uh, as we present. All right. The last one. One, one. Here we have one, zero, zero, zero. One, 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 one. Okay. So we begin to divide now. We begin to divide. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, when you count one, two, three, four, that is up to here. And then this one, you have one, two, three, four. You're going to notice or realize that this one, the first four digits here, they are less than this one because here you have. After the first one, the next digit is zero. Here, the next digit is one. So that means that if we go for the first one, the first four, this number is less than the divisor. So it means we need to go up to the fifth one. Okay? And this can go into one, zero, zero, one. And how many times? I did indicate that if it can go into the other number, then it's once. So it will be 
1. Here, when you multiply, what do you get? You have 1, 1, 0, 1. Like this. Minus, we subtract. This is going to give us what? 0 here. Alright? Then, when you subtract these two here, what do we get? Another 0. Okay? Then, we have 0 minus 1. This is why we say this can be... Uh, we have to get this one and then once it moves this from its original position to come here It will be two Okay, but dealing with the number that is in base two. So this is going to be two here And if this is going to be two here where it is from this two again, we get a one to bring it here So from this two the one that is going to come here will also come here as a two So it will be two minus one to be one here we remain with a 1. 1 minus 1 to be 0. So we leave it at this point. Then, we check this number. It can't go into this one. So we need to bring down this one here. This one has to come here. We check. This is 4. These are 4 digits here. Even these ones are 4. But how do you determine which one is greater than the other? I was telling you that. The first one is 1. The second one is 0. This one, the second one is 1. So this is bigger than the other. So it can't go into this one so it's zero if you want we can multiply it will give us zero 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 when we subtract we still get zero zero one so then at this point we need to bring this one down here okay we need to bring this one down here can this go into this one yes how many times it will be always one then you multiply this will give you one zero one one okay we subtract here what do we get zero one again we do the same thing okay again we do the same thing here this will be zero this is one so when we get this one it will come here as a two and from this position when we get another one it will come here as a two so two minus one we have one here we remain with one one minus one it's zero are we together then we check this number. Can it go into this one? No. So at this point, now we bring the last one here. We bring the last one here. Okay. Can this number go into this one? Yes. How many times? One. So you multiply. Of one, one, one. What do we get? Zero, 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 zero. So our answer... Our answer is uh, in base what? Base 2. It's a pity that all the three examples do not uh, leave a remainder. Okay? It's possible that you can get a remainder. It's very possible that you can get a remainder. But in this case, all our three examples did not have a remainder. This is very important for us to follow. And... Like I indicated that for those of you that are writing grade 9 exam, these are the lessons that you are supposed to follow. So let me give you questions that you can as well do. Okay, let me give you questions that you can as well do as you prepare yourself. Okay, let me give you the questions that you can as well do. Just as you prepare yourself. So you can have the first one. One, one, zero, zero. In base two. Divided by one, zero in base two. B. You can have one, 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 zero, zero. Divided by 1, 0, 0. Okay. C. You can have um, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Divided by, sorry. Divided by 1, 1. Base 2, base 2. Let me give you 4. So here... You have one zero one zero zero um one 
101 divided by divided by 1101 okay these are in base 2 so let us make sure that we follow these uh, uh, lessons let us make sure that we follow these lessons just in case there may be errors and you want us to make corrections please you can get in touch with me on this number all right thank you very much for watching